What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And as always, I hope the rest of your day gets even better. Now, time's currently half past 7 p.m. and I'm actually on my way to my friend's house. We're actually gonna chill a bit, see some stuff. I think we're gonna check out some stuff about, you know, our website as well, because we're building a website for this client friend of mine. So we're gonna check that out, because he's a programmer. And yeah, we're also gonna chill and probably watch a movie later on and stuff. So I actually got caught up today. I was doing, you know, many different other things, editing, checking out the website, and you know, in general, trying to finish work. However, we also went to the gym. We did, you know, get a chest workout in. So this is gonna be coming up right after this. So generally, what I wanted to mention to you guys was today is that during these past couple of days, I haven't been able to post, you know, larger pieces of content. Now, the reason being is that, you know, as I mentioned, one day was an off day. The second day was yesterday. I forgot to get my tripod with me, to bring my tripod with me. But you know, anyway, so even though I haven't been able to post, well, I have posted, but I haven't been able to capture more content i will do my best starting tomorrow to do so so we did do the chest workout today and tomorrow we have a back workout so tomorrow i don't care man i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna try and weigh myself first thing in the morning you know before going to the bathroom just with my boxers on and without holding the camera and the tripod because it actually takes a toll on your shoulder this is actually heavy so i want to actually see how much we're gonna weigh tomorrow you know without wearing all those things. Also, today I haven't been able to do my meal prep. It's actually half past 7 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything all day. So I've been fasting since this morning, since yesterday actually. So we're probably fasting for more than, in my opinion, 12 hours. No, way, way past 12 hours. We're probably near 18 hours plus now of fasting. Now this wasn't done on purpose. You know, I was actually thinking of eating the first meal of the day, which, which was going to be my protein pancakes. Then, you know, I had the editing, then I had to resolve those issues. issues. So in general, I wasn't able to cook the meals. I totally, you know, forgot. I've probably drank six coffees today. Six coffees, man. And so it's now 7.30. I'm still without a meal with a workout in. 45 minutes of cardio today guys almost an hour 800 calories burned on the stairmaster and yeah so i'm gonna go to my friend and we're gonna end up doing this working on the site we're gonna end up you know chilling watching a movie we're probably gonna order some food now when i say order food i'm not talking you know about junk food and stuff i'm probably gonna be ordering two you know dishes one's gonna be probably chicken with you know baked potato and salad and the other one's gonna be beef patties with the same so i'm probably I'm, I'm gonna try and get some you know footage of it just to show you what i'm gonna be eating now keep in mind that i haven't eaten anything today so i have a full 2000 calories to consume which I'm, i probably i'm not going to consume however i might even consume it the idea is to order food later on eat because i'm literally well, not starving, but you get the point. I'm really hungry. And yeah, so guys, I know I haven't been able to post more content, you know, longer videos or, or you know, filled with more content these days. However, you know, I'm gonna do my best starting tomorrow again to be more consistent and not only consistent with my videos, but you know, with the amount of content I post. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. The workout is coming up right after this. I hope you enjoyed the workout back workout tomorrow and yeah guys i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace what's up guys we are back in the gym chest day today chest workout with my friend chris and we're starting off with decline chest machine press now we're gonna do four sets of these including the warm-up so one warm-up set and three working sets however i'm not putting you know all the sets in the video this is the basically second set so first working set i did about no actually this is the warm-up set i did about 20 reps here you know to get a good contraction warm up the muscle get ready to get into the you know more more heavier working sets so now this is a good working set you know my friend chris here you know fist bumping fist bumping i'm not sure what he did 
So we're here with two plates per side. As you can see, I'm trying to have the reps, you know, executed and done nice and slowly, squeezing at the top, contracting, getting a good stretch at the bottom. And you know, guys, in general, we did one warm up set, three working sets. The warm up set was about 20 reps, and then the three working sets were the classic 8 to 12 rep range. So we move on to incline dumbbell bench press. And we also did a warm up here. This is the warm up, and you know, we tried to hit 20 reps as well. Nice and controlled, trying to feel the squeeze and contraction. However, this is one of the exercises in general, as I've mentioned previously, when it comes to the chest, that I'm still trying to figure out and find when it comes to the angles, the, you know, best way to execute the movement, because I've heard that I shouldn't extend my arms fully, I should try and focus all the tension on the chest. However, sometimes I find myself, you know, being fatigued way too fast, or, you know, it's not that I'm tired, I just, you know, try to, I lose focus and pump and the contraction when it comes to the whole movement with the chest, so I can't contract as efficiently as I wanted to, nor can I feel the muscle, and I actually end up getting bummed out, so, you know, I'm still working on it, and, you know, I just hope that I can eventually execute it the best I can. So, you saw two sets, and this is the third set, and we're using 30 kilogram dumbbells. We executed eight reps here and then we did a drop set just to pump up some more reps, get the blood going. You know, just do a drop set. We didn't just leave it and stop at the six to eight rep range, rep mark. And now we're working with 36 kilogram dumbbells and here I have my friend Chris spotting me, however, he did not do that, <laughs> and, and he did it on purpose. However, anyway, it doesn't really matter. I got six reps. It was basically failure. And in general, guys, the, the main idea and the, the, what I wanted to mention here again is I'm trying to really focus on this exercise and get better at it, trying to get a better contraction and squeeze when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to chest workouts in general and the muscle. Due to the fact that the chest and shoulder muscles are the ones I want to focus on and develop the most when it comes to my physique. So then we're going to move on to, as we finish this set, see he's laughing, he did it on purpose, man, this guy. So we're going to move on to dips, machine dips, machine chest dips, and this is just the final set I managed to record. We're going to pump up, I think, 8 to 12 reps here. In general, however, even when I mentioned now that the dumbbell, you know, bench press isn't, it's not that it isn't my best movement, it's that I'm trying to focus and contract as much as I can without using my shoulders and arms, you know, to, to execute the movement. I want to focus as much as I can on my chest. And, you know, I'm going to keep trying to figure out the best form and technique for every exercise in general. That's the whole point, you know, keep getting better and improving. And in general, throughout, you can see how I'm executing the movements. They might not be 100% best form and execution. However, I do try my best when it comes to isolating the muscle, trying to squeeze and contract at the top. I don't just drop the weight after that. I do try to control the weight and have a, you know, good negative controlled part of the movement, a good stretch at the bottom. And in general, as I've mentioned many, many times before, a, an overall, you know, good rep and execution of the exercise. So here we ended up, you know, finishing the dips and moved on to incline machine press, incline machine chest press. And, you know, I just filmed the first set we did and the second set we did. You know, in general, you, 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 I get kind of bummed out when it comes to, you know, these final exercises, third and fourth exercise, because I, I kind of stop feeling it when it comes to the chest. However, I do ask my friend Chris or my brother when they're training with me to feel my chest just to make sure I am contracting when it comes to the muscle group, and I am. 
So, you know, they're not lying to me. They, they can feel a contraction when it comes to the muscle group. However, you know it's fried. You've done many, many sets. Up until now, I think we've done four sets for every exercise, so 12. So when you move on to the incline chest machine press, you are kind of fatigued and you, you know, can no longer sometimes feel the muscle. It might just be in my case, you know, however, that's the, that's what I mean. And now we move on to, you know, pec deck, the pec deck machine. We executed four sets here. Nice and, you know, good stretch here as much as we can. Not 100% controlled reps every time. I'm trying to squeeze here. Even though I'm not holding it, I am squeezing, squeezing every time I, you know, um, conclude the rep. So stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, even though it's not the slowest reps. And we finished off the workout by doing some calves. Now, when it comes to this machine, <clears throat> it's not my favorite. It's good. I get a great contraction. However, I do prefer the sitting down machine when it comes to, you know, working on calves. So in general, this was a decent workout, a really good workout. I am going to try and include more, you know, sets and reps when it comes to the workout. I'm going to try to improve as much as we can. And you know, that's the whole point. That's the whole idea. The main idea is to cut down, get toned, you know, drop in weight. That's why we're actually doing even more reps compared to, you know, just doing four, six reps with heavy weight. However, we are going to move and change the program as we start bulking once we've cut down and toned down. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stairmaster here for the 30 minutes of cardio. I can't wait to see you in the next video. You know, more content coming up, more videos. And you know, we're not stopping here. We're gonna keep progressing, trying to reach the physique we want, drop down in weight, weight loss journey. And in general, guys, tomorrow I think is a back day coming up. So I hope you enjoy enjoy the video. I can't wait to see you in the next video. You know, keep working, keep putting the work in, don't worry. And, you know, do your best, be yourself, and never give up, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. You know, keep grinding. See you guys.